Okay, guys. On a Saturday morning in April, a group of Iowa children and adults gathered to mark the grave of an Iowa veteran. Has everybody got one put one in yet? No. All right. Can you guys slide it down there? One, two, three, push. Finally giving Frederick Wagner the honor he deserves. The ceremony coming together thanks to this pair, Bob and Mike. I've got uh, veterans from nearly every war, from uh, the American Revolution, you know, to uh, uh, modern history. Um, so it, it's, it's important to me. Bob and Mike have been putting gravestones on the plots of unmarked Iowa veterans since just before the coronavirus pandemic began. Uh, Bob and I had a, a couple of graves that we knew of. War of 1812 veterans, I think, was one of the first. And uh, it hadn't been marked. We thought it was important, so we, we got it marked. We researched and documented, got it marked. Mike is being humble. Research and documentation, more like detective work. Maybe three and a half hours on average for each one. But there's other ones like this one that we had to get help from other historians. And I know we spent over 30 hours on, on William Cases. So. Mike and Bob have researched 146 Iowa men and women who served their country through military service in just the past year. And the work they do is special not only to the families of the veterans. We get responses from families all the time that just can't believe that strangers would ask if they can put a marker on their ancestors' graves. But also to themselves. It, it just makes me feel good to recognize those people that sacrificed so much of their lives and the, the families that they left behind. There's a lot of history. You know, there's 80,000 people buried here, it's estimated, and that means there's at least 80,000 stories. Sarah Beckman, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.